In this video, we'll be covering some tips that will help you stay comfortable on your next long haul flight. These are trips that are at least six hours long and often international. Whether you're going from New York to Honolulu or Lagos to Vancouver, we've got you covered. I'm Lauren from Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. Once you know what you need to stay comfortable, find it at Backcountry, this video's sponsor. Plus, hang tight for your exclusive discount code. So let's dive in. Time can move slowly when you're sitting in the same seat for hours. If you bring enough entertainment to get you through the flight, you'll arrive before you know it. Download your media before you leave home instead of using slow airport Wi-Fi so you can access it after takeoff. We recommend saving more than you think you need so that you don't run out of options mid-flight. Download albums by artists from the places you'll be visiting. Or, informative podcasts are a great way to learn about where you're headed from people who have been there before. If you're using a portable device for entertainment like an iPhone or a tablet, you'll need a battery bank to stay charged up. This will give you enough juice to last the entire flight and your device will be fully charged when you land. We like the BioLite Charge 20 PD for its small size and 6000 milliamp battery. In case of an electronic emergency, physical media is a great backup. Phones die, Wi-Fi goes out, or sometimes your flight is delayed long enough to drain your battery bank before you can top up. A physical copy of a novel, crossword, or coloring book can help you pass the time and save your eyes from blue light overload. No matter how much entertainment you bring aboard, it's best to keep it within reach. Storing a sling and or toiletry pouch at your seat gives you quick access to your essentials all flight long. Nearly everything you need for your aerial journey fits inside a small personal item size bag. Hang it on the tray table in front of you or store it under the seat so you don't have to search through your carry-on mid-flight. Since everything is in one place, you can easily jump from one activity to the next. There are a ton of different styles to choose from. Some are just big enough for the essentials, while others are large enough to fit a tablet. We dig the Bellroy Sling for its low profile design and self-compressing system that doesn't feel bulky even when it's overpacked. You can also store a few items from your dop kit or use it as its own pouch. Moisturize during the flight if your skin gets irritated by the dry air. Or head to the bathroom with your Topo Design stop kit in tow and give yourself a boost by washing your face and brushing your teeth before landing. When it's time to pack your personal item, check out Backcountry. They carry tons of top brands like Patagonia, The North Face, Fjall Robin, and more. Plus, they're about more than outdoor gear. You can find everything you need, from new comfy socks to an upgraded travel pack that gives you quick access to your in-flight entertainment. Sort by categories and features to find exactly what you're looking for. While we're big fans of their travel products, they have something for practically any adventure. If you're not quite sure what to get, chat with one of their gearheads. They're available 24-7 and have tons of gear knowledge to help you make your pick. Whether you're choosing between top brands or unsure of where to start, they're here to help. Use the code in the description below for 15% off your first purchase at Backcountry. Now, back to the tips. Choosing the right clothing is an easy way to boost your coziness levels. If you dress with relaxation in mind, you'll feel more at home at 36,000 feet. We shoot for a balance between comfort and utility. People on flights wear everything from sweatsuits to business suits, so it's okay to dress in whatever makes you feel the best. I like to bring fuzzy socks because they help me stay warm and sleep better on the plane. However, it's important to remember that whatever you wear on the flight will be with you the whole trip. So I only bring one pair and I also wear them at night in my hotel or Airbnb. Joggers are becoming increasingly popular for both street style and travel comfort. They're also useful as workout, casual, or pajama pants when you get to your destination. The Patagonia Terrabone joggers come in a few different colors and are water resistant to control in-flight spills. We also like the North Face Aphrodite jogger for its stretchy waistband and casual fit. Compression socks can also help keep your blood flowing and reduce swelling caused by sitting for hours on end. Smart Wool makes compression socks crafted from merino wool, so they're antibacterial and last longer between washes. Finally, breathable footwear keeps your feet from overheating. Wear a pair of slides from a brand like Birkenstock and easily slip your shoes on and off at your seat. Just be sure to bring a pair of socks to keep your feet warm and protected. The longer you're on a plane, the harder it can be to block out commotion from other passengers. 
Headphones and earplugs let you find your happy place to make the transition easier. Noise canceling headphones are great for any type of media. They block out virtually all noise, from airplane engines to a rowdy group of travelers a few rows back. This can help you sleep while listening to relaxing music or a calming podcast. Or dive into one of the movies or TV shows you downloaded before you left your house. We like Jaybird headphones because they're water resistant and durable, so they can handle the bumps and knocks of travels too. If music and podcasts aren't for you, a simple pair of earplugs and an eye mask will do the trick. You can mute sights and sounds that make it harder to sit back and relax without removing white noise completely. Plus, neither require batteries, so you won't need to worry about them dying like your headphones. Just like you need to keep your devices juiced up, you need to charge your body's batteries too. By staying hydrated and energized, you'll be ready to hit the ground running when you land. There are a ton of ways to get enough water at cruising altitude. Bring along your own bottle so you don't need to wait for the food and drink cart. We like Hydro Flask because you can decide what type of lid works best for you, from their classic flex cap to a straw lid. Everything tastes better out of a straw. It's science. When you want to save space and weight, opt for a collapsible bottle. The Hydropack Stash collapsible water bottle fits into the palm of your hand when empty so you can stow it in your sling until it's time to refill. Just like water, food is an essential piece of the energy puzzle. Bring along your own snacks in case you accidentally sleep through the in-flight meal and wake up hungry. Or fuel up before leaving the terminal rather than overpaying for airport food. Cliff Bars are a great option because of their small size and ample serving of protein. Plus, they come in a variety of flavors like peanut butter banana and white chocolate macadamia nut. Time changes can be jarring, which is why we like to use long flights to start adjusting before we even arrive. If you get on the flight already tired, it'll be easier to sleep on the plane. Do a hard workout before heading to the airport to tire your body out. That way, you can sleep the flight away and feel refreshed when you land. I like to wake up early in the morning before a flight, so I'm ready for a nap once we take off. When you're booking your flights, choose one that already fits your schedule to make things easier on yourself. Red Eye flights are great because you'll wake up refreshed in your destination's time zone. However, if you struggle to sleep on planes, you may end up more tired when you arrive, so be sure to go with whatever schedule your body operates in best. Or choose a flight during your typical work hours and bring your laptop to wrap things up before your vacation begins. Just because you're in the air doesn't mean you have to stay in your seat at all times. By standing up and stretching frequently, you'll feel much better during and after your flight. It's easy to get cramps or feel stiff, especially on a small plane with little leg room. To combat this, take the long route to the restroom to get some extra steps during a bathroom break. While waiting in line, do some leg and arm stretches to get your blood flowing. If you find yourself forgetting to stand every so often, choose a seat at the end of your row. You'll be forced to get up when someone in the middle needs to access the bathroom and can stretch it out in the aisle until they get back. Or stand up on your own and someone may be thankful that you gave them an opening to scoot out themselves. You'll be thankful you took the time to move around when you hop off the plane and start your first adventure. So there you have it, some tips to ensure you're refreshed at the end of your next long haul flight. Drop a comment and tell us how you stay comfortable at 36,000 feet, because remember, some of the best tips come from you right here on YouTube. And don't forget to use the code in the description below to get 15% off your first purchase at Backcountry. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.